at 1 Conquest of Champions last Friday, November 23 at the Mall of Asia Arena, Filipino mixed martial arts star Edward Falayang defeated Singapore's Amir Khan to become a two-time one lightweight world champion. Falayang outclassed Khan throughout their five-round battle to earn a clear-cut unanimous decision not and make history as the first ever two-time champion in the lightweight division, just 12 months after he saw his first run as champion had ended. Making the win even more special for Falayang was that it came a day after his 35th birthday. When asked if he felt at all his age during the fight, the new two-time champion jokingly responded that he felt a bit older, actually. Akala Konga 53-8, Falayang said as he was greeted with laughs from the post-fight press conference audience. Against Khan, Falayang faced an opponent that was 10 years his junior, and in their battle of top-tier lightweight stars, it was strength, experience, and gamutlin that triumphed over youth. And while Falayang is already in what people call the wrong side of 30, the Team Lacase star isn't really concerned about his age. Piero you know, age is just a number, said the new champ. Did the make a Sabahin Teodito Sog Pilipinas na Calabalang Ang Tumatanda? Well, Hindi name an Ako Naging Mabagal Kanina. Dot this wasn't the first time that the Baguio City native has been asked about his age and how much longer he sees himself competing. Fa Leang has used a number of fellow fighters as reference points in saying that they can keep competing well into their 40s, why couldn't he do the same? Adrian Pang. A former opponent of Falayang is still going strong at 41 years of age. In mixed martial arts, in this journey, it's really hard to say that martial artists are old. Just like Naran Tungalag Jadambit, they are in their 40s, but they can be able to perform well. Dot Jadambit, the former one featherweight world champion, is coming off back to back victories and has won four of his last five bouts. Even at 42 years of age, Jadamba is still a top contender in the division. AT35, Falayang is definitely no spring chicken, but if Pang and Jadamba are any indicators, then it means that we could still be seeing landslide competing at a very high level for at least the next five years.